Hey guys, Danielle here from Wendell Woodworks. I want to apologize up front for the voice and the sniffles. I'm battling a cold, but we got some work to do today. I have a baby shower coming up this weekend, so I'm going to be making a baby name puzzle. Feel free to follow along and hopefully it'll inspire you on how to make your own. So let's get started. Now for a puzzle, you need three layers. You need to have a base layer, a middle layer, which will contain the empty space for the letters to fit in, and your letter layer. You can do this with only two layers if you want your letters to be flush with your middle layer and they'll come from the same material. But today I'm choosing to make the letters thicker so it's easier for a child to pull the letters out without having to attach peg screws. Now for my base layer, I have an eighth inch backer and I just decided to get a little extra fancy so I went ahead and mod podged on some pretty scrapbook paper. This layer is going to be visible under the letters so you may just want to paint it or stain whatever material that you choose to have for your bottom. For the middle layer, I'm using a quarter inch MDF. This layer is going to be what's visible on top. So after cutting, I'm going to be painting it white. And for my letters, I'm using three quarter inch birch plywood today. Right, and I've cut all three of my layers down to the size of my puzzle, which is four inches by 12 inches. And now I'm gonna attach the top two layers together for cutting. I'm gonna be cutting these at the same time to ensure a perfect fit. And in order to protect my materials, I always lay down either contact paper or painter's tape before applying the adhesive. I'll do this to attach these pieces together and to attach my template to the top. Now it's important that your template is centered because this is exactly how the puzzle is going to lay. And now it's time to drill our pilot holes. You want the holes to be as tiny as possible so they're not very noticeable. I'm using a 1 16th bit and I'm going to place the holes at the bottom corners of each of my letters. That way the letters won't have any visible holes themselves and the hole created on the middle layer can either be left as is or just easily filled in with a wood filler. Now it's time to get cutting. Because my layers are pretty thick here, I'm opting for a number nine modified geometry blade from Pegasus, and I think that should do it. All right, so we have our N, and now we move on to the O. And whenever you have inside cuts, you always want to do those first. So you have the whole board to work with versus just the little O that you have to move around. So when it comes to my O and my A, I'm going to do those inside cuts first and then we'll finish this off. All right, now everything is cut. So I'm going to discard just this top layer. I don't need that anymore. I only need this empty space that's going to go on my backer. When it comes to the letters, I'm going to just discard the MDF layer because I don't need those. And I'm going to just finish up the plywood layers and it's going to fit just like this. So we're going to go ahead and color and finish. You can hear my daughter singing in the background. <laughs> All right, when it comes to the O and the A here, I'm actually going to discard the plywood center. I don't need those, but I am going to keep the MDF centers and I will finish those the same way that I'm going to finish this and um, spray paint it white. And then I will have those glued down to the backer. All right, so let's get to painting this white, painting my letters, and then we'll frame it up and be all done. All right, so let's talk finish. I took my middle layer, and after it was primed and then sprayed with the white paint, I glued it onto my backing, and then I framed it. Now, framing is optional. You can always just round the edges, or you can edge band. I love a good frame, and I also love it because it can also double as like a little nursery sign. Um, even without the letters. How cute is that? So I framed mine for the inside pieces here. I glued those down after I put the letters in and then I used my wood glue and my star bond uh, adhesive and I dropped in the middle of the O and the A after the letters were already in just to make sure that they were in the exact right spot. And my initial plan was actually to paint these some pretty rainbow colors that match the backing here. And then I realized I didn't have any baby safe paint. 
It's not necessarily important, especially if you're making a puzzle for an older child, but I am not that far past the baby stage where I remember everything going in their mouths. And I decided to opt for a baby safe finish. I had some linseed oil and I just decided to keep the letter with a linseed finish and I did the same for the frame. And then I thought, this is just kind of boring. It doesn't have any color unless the letters are out. So I went the extra mile and I cut out some these little flowers at a quarter inch MDF and I'm just gonna lay those around the outside of the middle layer here of the puzzle and then it will be absolutely complete. And here she is. I can honestly say I just love this. Sometimes the best things come out of things not going according to plan. I love the flower edition. I would love to see what type of puzzle you come up with. Thanks for watching you guys and for bearing with me through this cold. Happy scrolling and I'll see you next time.